the Arya and Santa storyline in Winterfell, for all that we tried to give it the benefit of the doubt sort of throughout the course of the, the season, didn't really work for you. Yeah, you know, like you were saying, yeah, as I'm watching it, we're, we're all kind of sort of trying to get into the characters' heads and being like, okay, I guess I see why Arya would do that and why Sansa would think this. And of course, Littlefinger's trying to play them against each other. He's good at what he does. I see why that's working. Uh, but in the end, it really just doesn't play, especially knowing how it all shakes out. And what's really unclear is just when they all decided to work together, and that's the crux of it. And I know there's uh, uh, the actor who plays Bran. Uh, Isaac his, Hempstead, right? Yes, yeah. who uh, yeah, who you interview a lot and you talk to. Uh, he said that. My yes, uh, he <laughs> he um, revealed that there were actually was a scene where him and Sansa talk things out, and he reveals some information to her, and you see that that's how, where she gets all the stuff to accuse Littlefinger. But they didn't. That would have been, in, and that would have been in the finale. He, he wasn't right. exactly certain, but he was pretty sure it would be toward the end of the season. Right, and it would have been before the Littlefinger scene. And given that awesome reveal where she she accuses Arya, but it turns out she it turns to Littlefinger and is actually accusing him, uh, it would have ruined that moment. And so I, I see the uh, how the why the showmakers really wanted to build up the idea that it was Sansa versus Arya, but really it was a fake out the whole time. But to to earn that fake out, they really led us down a really confusing and really befuddling path where it really made both Arya and Sansa look like much weaker characters who haven't learned a thing, right? Because of course Arya would know that the Lannisters are horrible people and would force her sister into do these things. And like she, she would be able to, especially with everything Arya's gone through, she'd be able to look at Sansa's, uh, hear her story, look at everything she's done and be like, of course, I totally see why you would do all this. But they, they make Arya almost out to be like this villain who wants to kill her sister, but for never anything like leading up to that would I believe that that would be the case. And same thing for Sansa, like for her to be played uh, by Littlefinger again after all this time. And so let's say uh, it, it was it was the episode of the finale that they, they all kind of got on the same page and decided to go after Littlefinger. So really he was playing her this entire time and she still didn't learn. I know she says, like, I'm, I'm, I admit I'm a slow learner, but not that slow. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you because something that Dan and David, the showrunner said in the finales inside the episode was they knew and they were building towards this reveal the whole season. So it wasn't something they decided in the finale. They knew going in that there was gonna be this tension and that it was like Littlefinger was gonna sort of create this pressure cooker situation so that when everything culminated in the finale, that would be what resulted in his death, which I I think is interesting and I think I saw a lot of criticism from people like us who were criticizing throughout the season about how it didn't make sense for their characters. Everyone was saying we'll just wait and see how it all plays out but you're saying even knowing what happened it still doesn't really track for you? It does not track. I think what was lacking, what it could have used was maybe for someone uh, that they could show us Littlefinger actively plotting with to make this happen, of having mm. him given someone to talk to. Because really, for as much as this was this was his swan season, his swan song, uh, he didn't get to go out in, in a big way. He was really a side character in this plot. And he, even though he was an active part of the Winterfell plot, I really didn't feel like we got much from him. Like he wasn't really on screen that much, didn't really do much. He's like sort of doing things, yes, but not, not in an active, interesting way that really showed him pitting these two characters against each other. I think they should have done less of the, ooh, we'll have like a fake out and really just show everyone's cards on the table and show us a more intricate, honest plot. And I think that would have done, gone a long way for them to uh, re really make that that plot work. I think they didn't need like to have like this fake out in the end. I thought it would have been much more interesting if they just really just showed what was going on, at least from someone's point of view, because we were in the dark to what really all three characters were really thinking. We needed to, to be given a little more information. Or even have like Sansa have some, like talking to Brienne about it, or Arya doesn't really have any other characters, but maybe like talking in the godswood about it or talking to Bran about it. And I think I get why these people would be, try to keep things closer to their chest, but I, I agree that you were missing something there to help everything make sense. And similarly, I, I was sort of ranting about this yesterday for all that I didn't rewatch it. I certainly was thinking about it a lot. And Littlefinger's entire advice to Sansa this season is fight every battle on every front, but Littlefinger never once thought, okay, maybe Sansa will turn on me. Like, to me, that seems like a, a slight logic gap that he must have had some sort of contingency plan to think, okay, well maybe this doesn't go my way. And we see him try to like turn to the Lords of the Vale and, yeah. and cry, but 
I don't know. I, I yeah. still feel like maybe if they had established that some of these characters got clued into what he was doing before what looked like the jump between the second to last and last episode, maybe it would work better. But the fact that it really was supposed to be until then, I think, is probably the bigger issue. Yeah. And really, I think what I'm kind of getting at here is that the, the brand of it all, of that he, they either met a character who was like, hey, all, all three of these characters are like, hey, uh, we know that he has visions. Like, Bran didn't actually say it to Littlefinger, but he said something to Littlefinger. Chaos like, is a ladder. Chaos is a ladder, <laughs> which is so cool, right? Um, things that, that there's no way Bran could have known. Why did Littlefinger not do anything of the information and try and find out what was going on with Bran? Because if he knew that, what else does he know, right? He knows everything. <laughs> so, and also uh, Arya and Sansa, the second you figured out that Bran has like visions and knows all this stuff he shouldn't know, has access to lots of information and not using it. It's like finding out you have the internet for the first time ever and not like searching for anything, right? Like wouldn't you be like, oh my gosh, well let's have a really long conversation where we find out the answers to a lot of things we want to know or at least get to the bottom of what's going on with Bran. And instead, they didn't really explore Bran and give him a chance to talk about what it's like to even like be the three-eyed raven and really just turn him into a plot device who says cool things at the right time. And I think that the sense of Sansa using the internet for the first time, the, the Branternet or www.werewood.net <laughs> or whatever you want to call it, um, I think that was the scene that was deleted, which, as you said, like undercuts the surprise of, of the reveal later, but is very much her coming in and saying, Hey, Bran, so can you like check on some things? And, and he sort of needs to actively seek out, as we see with Sam and John, uh, like the, the John reveal, like he needs to seek out that extra detail to understand. And I think Bran basically then went and was like, oh yeah, he did this, this, and this, and it's his dagger. So he certainly has, has done enough to justify what yeah. you're about to do with him. Yeah, so yeah, just to recap, so Sansa and Arya were acting uh, out of character and they were both acting really dumb. Bran was, didn't do anything really. And then Littlefinger, the ultimate betrayer, got betrayed in a way that doesn't seem like worthy of taking down the master manipulator of the show. For more on Game of Thrones, if you are a little hazy on why Jon Snow's Aegon Targaryen reveal is so important, we have this great breakdown about why Daenerys Targaryen no longer has the best claim to the Iron Throne. For plenty more on Game of Thrones, we're going to keep you covered here on IGN.com, so make sure to like and subscribe to IGN everywhere you like to watch.